Most consumers today are several generations from the farm and know little about where their food comes from. At the Northern Corn and Soybean Expo in Fargo, Michelle Rook talked to a Minnesota farmer that's educating the public about what's involved in telling the farm-to-table story. So we know there's a disconnect between farmers and consumers today, and somebody who's kind of taken and championed that is Minnesota's millennial farmer, Zach Johnson, who joins us right now. Why did you want to take on this project of trying to reconnect farmers and consumers? Well, it started with people I know, people that I graduated high school with, um, some family members that were really questioning the way that we do our practices within agriculture. And I found it strange that people that should have been connected to agriculture in some way really didn't seem to understand at all what it was we were doing. And they were saying a lot of things that were just wrong, quite frankly. And so I, I thought I wanted to put myself out there and talk to them and show them, you know, from inside of agriculture exactly what's going on when we make the decisions that we make when it comes to managing the farm. So Zach, you're taking videos on your farm and then actually putting most of those out on YouTube? Yeah, I mean, that's how it all started. Um, I've moved to some other platforms a little bit too, just to kind of spread it out. But YouTube still is the main focus for me. Um, that's the best way for me to advocate is by really being present in our own farm and showing people this is how we run our farm. Um, and this is why we make the decisions that we make. And there's a lot of consumers that just want to know that. The good news is that there's a lot of people out there that genuinely are interested in what we do because we have this big disconnect. All of a sudden it's trendy again to know your farmer and know where your food comes from. So I think those of us in the industry who are willing to really need to find our ways to be a positive voice for the industry because we can take advantage of that now more than we've ever been able to. This has actually developed into another income or revenue stream for you and your farming operation, isn't it? Yeah, it has. And, you know, I had I had a bit of a moral dilemma when it, when it first started generating income for me. And, and the dilemma was, if, if I'm using this to make money, then am I staying true to the reason I started all this? Um, and for me, it really comes down to the fact that now that I'm making money with it, I can justify my time spent with it, which allows me to continue to advocate and continue to hopefully talk others into doing the same. Zach, thank you so much for helping to promote this industry. Well, thank you. We appreciate, appreciate it. That. that is Zach Johnson. He is Minnesota's millennial farmer.